Hey, what's up, VC? I'm back with another video. Uh, it's been forever. Um, I just lost every bit of motivation I had to make videos. I just had so much stuff going on in my life um, that I just didn't feel like doing it. I know a couple other people in the VC. I've seen them, you know, people that I have on Facebook posted about it recently they just have no motivation to make videos or anything and I mean it's just it happens to everybody every once in a while but I'm back I miss doing it I've bought a bunch of stuff and I want to show uh, y'all in the VC everybody that supports my channel um, last time I checked I'm closing in on 600 subscribers which is insane I never thought I'd get that many and I really appreciate it uh, it makes me feel bad honestly that people keep subscribing to my channel and you know asking where I've been and all that and I just haven't been putting out content and like I said I apologize I just didn't want to I just got tired of it but I'm back um, I've been spending my time you know buying records I've still been buying all sorts of stuff uh, going to concerts all that fun stuff and just yeah uh, decided to make a video today because I got a package in the mail uh, I don't feel good whatsoever I'm pretty sure I have some sort of uh, flu or something uh, just all of a sudden I caught it the weather in here in Texas has been really hot and then all of a sudden temperature dropped and we've had all this rain and stuff and it just it hit me I don't get sick very often but when I do it's pretty bad but anyway I'm gonna make a video uh, so that's why my voice is a little strange because I am sick um, but yeah so I made a trade with uh, Ron uh, metal Ron as he was known at one point in time now his channel is mind over metal Link will be down below. Definitely check him out. I'm pretty sure everybody who's subbed to me is subbed to him, though, because everybody knows who Metal Ron is. I mean, yeah, so he posted some things on Facebook that he had up on, for trade, um, and there was an album I've been looking for, and uh, decided to ask him what he wanted. We figured out a trade, and he sent that along with a couple extras. I forgot what he said he was sending, but there are a couple extras in here, and he sent this on the 11th, so... Tuesday and it got here today Friday which is really fast uh, it's media mail I wasn't expecting it to get here for a week or so but anyway without further ado we're gonna get right into this uh, Ron your package will be going out uh, early next week hopefully I'm still looking for a couple things to add um, but yeah thank you so much uh, this is awesome this album that I traded for um, is an album like I said I've been looking for for a while Oh, this is cool. It's got a stiffener in here. And it's the uh, VCLT stiffener. Wow. It's actually really cool. And what it is, is people that have gotten or sent VCLT have written down their name and, you know, where they're from. This is awesome. Like... <laughs> This is cool. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to send this back to Ron or if I'll send it to somebody else that I send VCLT to because he's already had it. This is really cool. I've I've thought about doing this before, you know, doing something like this in the VC, but never got around to it. Uh, but this started out, uh, actually a guy I've never heard of, Nathan White in the UK. His channel's Cornwall, I guess. That's really cool. In April 2018, he sent that. And then it went to Scott, the Rock Scout, who I am sub to uh, in Scotland, which is awesome. And then I guess he sent some VCLT to Ron, and Ron wrote his name, so now I'll add my name to it. That's actually really cool to think that this started out in the UK and then got sent to Scotland, and now it's in the US. So I don't know. Maybe this will end up in Canada next. It's a little hint there. Uh, but yeah, that's super cool. And then getting into the albums, oh, I don't, oh, this is, okay, so what it was, was Ron said he, um, he got a collection recently, and he got some upgrades and stuff, and some of the albums he had, um, he said were a little warped, but I said that was fine, so he sent it along, uh, so the first one, uh, didn't have this in my collection, and super cool to have, one of my favorite albums by Black Sabbath, uh, Heaven and Hell first album with Ronnie James Dio. My favorite Black Sabbath album with Dio is most definitely uh, The Mob Rules, but this one is a very close second. Just needs a good clean. Looks good. Oh, it's just got a very slight bowlish warp, but that's awesome. I'm sure this will play fine. So thank you so much for that, Ron. That's super cool. I've uh, been looking for a copy of this forever, and I just can't find it down here. 
at any of the stores and you know I could order it online but I don't want to do that this is one of those albums I wanted to just you know find or whatever so that is awesome and the next one I'm actually gonna save that one um, we have Triumph Thunder 7 it's a Triumph album that I didn't is this sealed no that I didn't have um, I have all their other albums but um, yeah this is really cool still in the shrink with the hype sticker like I said still in the shrink so this is cool I thought it was sealed because he didn't pull out the inner sleeve like the other one so it kind of threw me off but it's cool I'm guessing this has a slight warp that but that's that's cool got the original inner sleeve no I he said these were all warped but they're just very slightly like these things will still play fine I don't know if you'll even be able to see that on camera but that's awesome so thank you so much for that Ron then we will get into the next one like I said I'm gonna save this one for later and then the one I traded for I'm gonna save for later so that's an album I've wanted for a while okay then we have uh, Van Halen's 2 it's one of the albums I didn't have on vinyl Looks like it's got a little bit of water damage on the front, but that's no big deal. Didn't have this on vinyl. I have it on cassette and CD, I believe, but didn't have it on vinyl. Um, I know I said that a million times, but that's really cool. Oh, yeah, this is in great shape with the original inner sleeve, cardboard inner. Oh, yeah, all these look great. They just need a clean, and I have a spin clean that I never got to show because I haven't made videos in so long. Bought one of the spin cleans, and that thing does a great job. See, this one just has a little bit of a warp, but that's fine. I don't, as long as the album plays, that's all I'm worried about. And I'm sorry about the sniffling. I just, this, whatever I have has been kicking my butt. And then we have Van Halen Fair Warning. This is an upgrade. Oh, can I get in here and show it? I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll pull out my other copy real quick if I can find it. It was really beat up. I mean, the cover, this cover's a little beat, but my cover was worse. See, it's got a seam split right there, and the vinyl on my copy was pretty beat up. So, this is definitely an upgrade already. Got a nice... And this is my favorite Van Halen album from the David Lee Roth era. Ooh, and it has the original inner sleeve. Mine didn't have that, so that's really cool. Oh yeah, the vinyl's nice on this one. So thank you for that, Ron. That will definitely be replacing my other copy in my collection. And then we have Van Halen Woman and Ch Women and Children First, which is also an upgrade. I will pull that one out as well. Um, is it? I don't think I even have it over here in the Van Halen section. I think I pulled it out and played it a while back and it's somewhere else. But my copy had uh, pinholes in the corners so where somebody had hung it up, and this copy is actually still in the shrink. So that's really cool. I noticed Ron's got these fancy resealable sleeves now, which are really nice. But that's really cool. This is my second favorite Van Halen album with David Lee Roth. I mean, the first two albums are great, and 1984 and all that's great, but. Women and Children First and Fair Warning are just fantastic albums. And that vinyl looks great. Like I said, just needs a little clean. But other than that, it's really nice. And I believe there's a cover in here. Yes. He had told me about this one. Uh, got the Scorpions Love Drive with the, um, you know, censored U.S. cover. This one didn't have the record. He just said it was a cover. And I said, that's cool. Because I actually, I would show you right now, but I'm not going to. But on my roof, I have a couple album covers that I've hung up. Uh, just that I found at a thrift store, and they were just the covers for, you know, cents a piece. Got the Black Sabbath first album, uh, Stevie Nicks, uh, Triumph, Never Surrender. We got the Van Halen 1 cover somewhere, and a couple others. So that will be added to it. And I don't own a copy of Love Drive with this cover. Uh, my co my uh, copy is the one with the lady on. I'm not going to pull it out because everybody's seen it, but yeah, that's really cool. Um, the next we'll do this one and then the one I traded for. I'm sorry this is a long video. I just, there's so much stuff here. Uh, 
Judas Priest album I needed for my collection. Uh, this is one of my favorite Judas Priest albums. This is the album that actually got me into Judas Priest uh, because my dad told me about the song Burning Up on this album and I listened to it. I used to listen to that song all the time and I loved it. But it's Hellbent for Leather. Um, interesting story about this. I actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but one time, uh, it was actually after I saw uh, Lynch Mob for the first time, stopped at a Half Price Books and down near Galveston and they had so much stuff but I had little money and I just bought like the albums that I knew but I remember passing up a copy of the UK version of this called Killing Machine they had every Iron Maiden album and you know Dio, Scorpions, everything and I just I grabbed the common stuff like Cinderella's Night Songs instead of Long Cold Winter and and I kicked myself for that so ever since that I just didn't really want to buy a copy of this but it's so cool to finally have this because I have the CD, the remastered version, but on vinyl, it's so much better. What other songs you got? You got Evening Star, Hellbent for Leather, Burning Up, of course, The Green Manalishi, which is a, a Fleetwood Mac cover with Peter Green, who Gary Moore got his famous Les Paul from. Interesting note. Uh, Running Wild, Evil Fantasies. This is really cool. I actually saw, I'm sure you saw it on my channel, but I saw Judas Priest with Saxon back in April, and that was one of the better concerts I've been to in a long time. They were really good live. And the vinyl, like the other ones, just needs a good clean, but other than that, looks great, and doesn't even look like it's warped. I don't know. Ron was saying he, he was at making it out to where they, it seemed like they were pretty badly warped, but... And then the one I traded for, uh, this one does have a little warp, I know, but he showed me and it wasn't bad. Uh, Dio's Holy Diver, um, I didn't have until now. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you saw that I saw Last in Line, which is uh, Vivian Campbell and Vinny Apice from um, Dio with a new singer and the bass player from Ozzy, um, Phil Susan. And then I saw Dio Disciples back in June or July uh, with Rip Owens on vocals and the whole rest, you know, Craig Goldie and I uh, can't think of his name. The drummer from ACDC. Um, mine's just not working right now because of the sickness but anyway, saw that so I've seen both versions of the Dio band and it was so cool to see these songs live but I didn't own a copy of this so yeah, and it looks like it's in really good shape got a little bit of ring wear but other than that nothing bad and it has the original inner sleeve I love this album too the vinyl looks great has a very slight warp but it's nothing bad at all and this is just, this album needs no explanation. I mean, just get the song Stand Up and Shout opening the album, which is great. Holy Diver, Don't Talk Strangers, Straight Through the Heart, Invisible, Rainbow in the Dark. Uh, just fantastic album. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you, Ron, for all these cool records. Uh, like I said, your package will be going out very soon. Um, be on the lookout for more videos very soon. I apologize for the you know break. I just kind of needed it for myself. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching again. Thank you for subscribing, everybody that has been, everybody who's been supporting my channel, even though I haven't been posting anything. Uh, yeah, thanks so much, and take care. God bless. I'll talk to you guys later.